a short message for grown-ups. I would like to invite you to subscribe to Sleep Tight Premium with extra bedtime stories, mindfulness activities, and sound and music for sleep. Sleep Tight Premium helps make your sleep tight routine easier. And the kids will love the shout outs and birthday messages. Visit sleeptightpremium.com to start your free trial. Thank you. Hello, friends, and welcome to Mindful Monday. In this episode, we are going to talk about sadness. Now, let's continue by finding a comfortable spot, free from distractions, where you can have a more purposeful posture. Maybe in a chair or sitting up straight on the floor. Of course, you are welcome to lie down. Close your eyes if you like and take in a very slow, deep breath. Continue breathing deeply and feel the cool air come in through your nose and flow all the way down to your belly. Feel your belly expand out as you breathe deeply. Breathing is the most important thing we do. We cannot go for longer than two minutes or so without breath. Yet most of us do not even notice we are breathing all day. So as we take five deep and full breaths, let's notice the feeling of taking in fresh air. How each breath fills you with energy and each time you exhale, allow yourself to feel deeply relaxed. Try this now. One, breathe in expanding your belly and chest as much as you can. Holding it for a moment and breathe out, feeling a wave of relaxation sweep over you. Breathe in, filling yourself with fresh oxygen. Hold it and breathe out. A wave of relaxation is gently sweeping over you. Breathe in so that you are brimming with air, holding it, and breathe out. Your body relaxes in different areas without any effort. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just notice how you are feeling. And five. A big, beautiful breath coming in. Hold it. And breathe out, allowing relaxation to sweep over you. Take note of how you are feeling at this very moment. We all experience moments where we feel big emotions, and that's okay. 
but you also know that you can deal with those big emotions by breathing deeply, like we just did, or by slowly counting to five while you allow yourself to calm down a little before you talk things out with someone you trust. All of these things help us keep calm and feeling good, even when we are feeling strongly about something. Do you ever feel sad? What do you do when you feel sad? Sometimes sadness arrives unexpectedly and follows us around. This is how the story, When Sadness is at Your Doorstep by Eva Aland starts. In this book, sadness arrives and the little girl tries to hide the sadness, but feels like she is becoming sadness herself. So she sits down with sadness and sees what it needs and where it comes from. Then they sit quietly together and they find things they like to do, like drawing, listening to music, drinking a favorite drink, or going for a walk. When the little girl sleeps, she still feels sad. But when she wakes up, she feels better and knows that sadness is gone for now, but might come back another day, and that is okay. It is normal to feel sad once in a while. Lots of things can make us feel sad, like being left out, being called names, losing at something, or missing someone, a divorce, or moving to a new place, or other changes could make you feel sad too. But it is important to remember that lots of things can make you feel better. If you're feeling sad, one of the best things to do is to talk about your feelings with a trusted adult. Everyone gets sad every now and then, even big people. When you're in a sad mood, it might seem as if it will last forever. But feelings of sadness usually don't last very long, often just a few minutes, or maybe a few hours. If you're in a sad mood, there are lots of things you can do to feel better. Exercising and moving around can help relieve a sad mood because being active gets your brain to release chemicals called endorphins that make you feel happier. Listening to upbeat music is another way to help yourself get into a happier mood. Reading a good book, drawing a picture, some deep breathing, or playing can help put your mind on something other than what's making you feel sad. Talking to a trusted adult and surrounding yourself with supportive people can make you feel cared about. How can you tell if someone is sad? They might be sitting alone, 
They might have a sad look on their face. They might cry or they might yell and act angry. When you see this, how can you help? Being a good friend can help. That might mean you sit quietly with them. Or that might mean you let them sit alone for a while. Helping out a friend when they are sad means accepting what they need at that time. If you or a friend are feeling sad, you might try these things to feel better. Talk to a trusting adult about what's bothering you. Be around someone who understands and cares. Do something that puts you in a happy mood. Play your favorite sport. Exercise or be active. It helps you feel better. Listen to happy music. Ask a friend to play or hang out. Tell yourself encouraging things. Remind yourself of things you do well. Remind yourself about the fun times in your life. Write down three things that made you glad. Read a good book. Play with a pet. Help someone or do something kind. Draw something colorful. Or maybe find something to laugh about. Just remember, if you are feeling sad, that's okay. And take the time you need to make yourself feel better. Now take one last deep breath and exhale slowly. Open your eyes. Give your body a big stretch. With your hands, try to reach as far as you can. I hope you have a wonderful week.